Get ready, Augusta. We are about to give you some wow on the Signature Mike Show. I got that wow. Who wants some hands right now? We got that. Turn it up loud. I know you're wondering how. I got that wow. I'm going to give you a few tricks of the trade tonight. This is a bar that I designed and had installed for a client. It was previously their laundry room. And as you can see, I was a little limited on space here. So here's what you wanna do when you start off a project like this. You wanna measure out the space, and then you wanna draft it out on paper. Get yourself a scale, maybe quarter inch scale, half inch scale, and scale the drawing out. So you wanna lay everything out. You wanna make a list of what's important for you. This particular client wanted a bar that would service them every day. I think they drink a little. And then they also wanted a bar that could serve as guests as, as they would have a party or they would host gatherings. So we needed a place for a bartender. We needed a segregation of, of the main bar area for the guests on the other side. We wanted to look a little professional. So you have to write down what you want. We wanted a, a wet sink, so we, we needed plumbing added. We were on a crawl space, so that was easy to move around a little bit. We needed storage, of course, for glassware and for the liquor bottles and for some decor items. As you can see, we have a Kentucky bourbon theme here. So we had a few Kentucky elements that we had to add also. But after you make your list, you want to draw out your, your, your plan on paper and begin with the, the wall. Let's start there. We had to get proper storage. We had to get storage for everything they needed. But I was very limited on space. So as you see, I just have six inches of cabinets on that wall. Doesn't sound like a lot, but once you add mirror on the back of the shelves, it reflects what you put in front of them, whether it's decor or the liquor bottles or the, or the glasses, whatever. And it makes it seem deeper than it is. So that helps open up the space a little bit. Uh, a little problem solving there. So we put the sink on the far wall and that is great as you're cleaning up or you need to add water or something to something. Uh, we have uh, the long bar that has storage underneath as well. There is a wine fridge underneath that stores bottles of wine at a couple of different temperatures, but it works really, really well. Um, if you want to consider a theme, I think that makes an intimate space like this very interesting. Again, we did the, uh, the Kentucky Derby the Kentucky bourbon theme, which of course we can incorporate the Derby. Muhammad Ali, he is from uh, Kentucky as well. So we have a whole theme going on. In that this was a laundry room, the electrical panel box was also in the space. So I wanted to cover that. I got some easy canvases that are Kentucky themed that easily uh, fit over the electrical panel boxes, but it also creates a nice moment and it continues that theme that we have going on. This client is ready to go for their party tonight. They have their Second City Distillery bourbons and whiskeys. They have their Dirty Girl canned beverages and margarita mix, all ready to go for a fantastic evening. I hope you've enjoyed this transformation of what was once a laundry room into this fabulous wet bar. It's hard to know where to start when shopping for home or kitchen appliances, but you can count on Kelly Appliance for exceptional value and dedicated customer service. Family owned and operated since 1962, their friendly and knowledgeable staff will see you through the entire process, from selecting the right product to experience delivery and installation. It's no wonder that Kelly Appliance is consistently awarded for their service and expertise. Visit Kelly Appliance at one of their two convenient locations in Martinez and Aiken. Great communication, honest, fair pricing. You want that trust when you meet somebody that they're gonna take care of your best interests. It looked like a parade through here for a while. Cars stopping, people asking questions. Very courteous, very professional. It was the best experience we had out of everything we've been going through in the remodeling. And that's why we're different. Hi, Suzanne Lily Honey Michael here with Hardwood Floors and More. Welcome to our showroom located on Washington Road in Evans. We look forward to seeing you so you can discover for yourself everything we have to offer.
hardwood floors and more. So much more in store for you. We've all heard of the fabulous hardwood floors and more. And tonight I have the fabulous Suzanne Honeymichael with me who owns hardwood floors and more. We all know what hardwoods is, but I want to know about and more. Suzanne, thank you for being here tonight. So excited to be here. Tell us about the more. Tell us about the services and products and everything more that hardwood floors and more has to offer. So obviously we have hardwood floors with that being in the name, um, but we do carpet, tile, vinyl, um, commercial, residential, builder work. But then we also have our lighting gallery, um, which is one of my favorite parts, probably. I love driving past your store and seeing the lights lit up. It just, thank it you. all sparkles and it just draws you in. It, yes, thank you very much. And then we have the wallpaper and um, we dabble in furniture. I mean, we're certainly not a furniture store. Um, but we do do some custom furniture as well. Well, you have a designer. You have a full-fledged designer on staff there we, helping everybody with anything design. We do. So I know her as Caitlin Jones. I, I went to school with um, her family, but she's now Caitlin Fuché. She's married and um, does a great job. And I know we've all kind of worked together on projects. Yes. It's awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, we've worked on great projects together. How long have you been in business? So we technically we started as just a, a installation crew back in the eighties. Oh wow! And so I wanted to stay home with the kids, um, and it's great to be a working mom or a stay at home mom. Uh huh. But I decided I wanted to be at home, so I did like the books from home and all those things. And when our oldest was turning sixteen, I was like, okay, we can open a showroom now because she could bring the other kids to me. Nice. So yeah, our baby grew up literally under my desk. People wouldn't even know she was under there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. So you supplied and then now you've just grown into a design center yeah. where you can do so much more. Yes. Yeah, so and and it was just a unique circumstance. Honestly, though we with our name it was hard with floors and more just intending the flooring aspect. Uh-huh. But when we were building the new showroom on Washington Road, this was way, way back when. But I was like, well, there's all this space up here. And there really wasn't a lot of lighting in Augusta. Right. You know absolutely. that. And so we decided to add the the lighting gallery as well. We, that was a 30-second decision. Wow. And you're on Washington Road out in Evans. I remember when you built your showroom, you were about the only thing out there. We were. Yeah. And People now were like they needed a pack of lunch right, right there. <laughs> it was, we, we were way out there. But now we're not so far. Right, right. You're kind of in the middle of everything. So that's amazing. So you work, I'm sure, with a lot of home builders and new construction. We do new construction. And then we do a, we do a good bit of retail and we do commercial work. And I think that's some of the projects that we've actually yes, worked on absolutely. together is yeah. several of the commercial projects. So um, I feel like we have a really good balance um, right. just in terms of the scope of, of the CSRA. Right. Yeah. And you just, you have so much to offer. Um, you know, as you know, as well as I do, you know, our area tends to be a little traditional, but the leading trends are going a little more modern. So it's interesting to try to integrate some of that into today. It is. I think Instagram helps a little bit with that, but I think, um, we're seeing some new styles, not so cookie cutter. Like you don't, some people want exactly what their neighbor has, but right. there, there are people that want something unique or something that makes them feel good when they walk into their space. Exactly. And I'm sure that's where Caitlin helps as well, because that's, she yes. can help direct what's new and trending and classic and the last and all of that. Stuff. Exactly. Yes. What are some of the trends you're seeing? Are you seeing uh, back in the 80s? I'm sure there was a lot of hardwood, but now there are some great uh, other flooring surfaces that you can offer. There are. So um EVP, the the waterproof floors are extremely popular right now. A huge comeback right now, which is it's a, a word that people hate to hear, but the technology with the laminates. Yes. They're extremely scratch resistant. Um, so we're seeing a lot of that. And then there's still people that love hardwood, you know, whether it's you might change it up into a herringbone or different patterns. So Fun. um yeah, it it can make us a, a a space special as well. That's awesome. That other word, wallpaper. Ah, uh, my favorite. I, I love it too. I, I really I, do. But it's made a huge comeback. 
huge, okay. which I think every man out there hates to hear that because they've stripped it all off. Uh, I have to, yes. <laughs> it um, definitely has been a huge comeback. Lots of murals. Um, grass cloth, it's such a classic. Um, yes. But some people don't like seeing the seams. Of course, that. you have to explain that. Yes. You do. And so now sisal's kind of coming along and uh -huh. you don't have that kind of such a definition of the, those products coming together. Right, right. Your husband, Greg Honey Michael. So he is a real estate agent with Maybaum. And you guys partner your businesses together sometimes. I see the billboards all around town. Yes, we do. I, um, so it's always interesting when you work with your spouse. So I try to help him with his marketing. I've actually learned a lot from him, though, just in terms of on, on the side of hardwood floors and more. You know, there's some people that want to buy a home and um, put sweat equity. So sure. he's taught me kind of what those neighborhoods are. So uh -huh. if people come in and they're like, oh, we need to redo. You don't always have to redo because if you want to sell a home and put that sweat equity in, but if you want to sell at the top price per square foot, then you've got to have the standards of a new home now. Right. So you're educating these, these right. sellers and right. buyers on yeah, what yeah, you yeah. do. So, uh, but no, it, it's been interesting and he's a phenomenal de negotiator. I've learned a lot from him from that as well. So it works pretty well. That's awesome. Well, I cannot thank you enough. We're going to see a lot more of you and hear about more trends coming and going. Absolutely. Uh, because some do, some are trends and they do fade away, but it's our job to, to teach people, to give them classic, timeless designs. Absolutely. But yeah, thanks for so much for being here with us tonight. Yeah, so great. Thank you. Hi, Suzanne Lily Honey Michael here with Hardwood Floors and More. For years I've been talking to you about our floors, but did you know we are the largest locally owned lighting gallery in town? We have interior and exterior lights and ceiling fans also, so we can help you with any lighting project. We carry all brands to include Savoy House and Visual Comfort, and we are so excited we are now your local capital lighting dealer. Visit us today and discover for yourself why Hardwood Floors and More has so much more in store for you. Ever wonder what truly makes a house a home? It's all the thoughtful touches, all the little details that bring personality and character to any space. At Signature Interiors and Gifts, we believe that your home should be as unique as you are. Our collection is a treasure trove of inspiration, just waiting for you to explore. Our team would be honored to help you create a home that's not just lived in, but truly loved. Signature Interiors and Gifts, where every corner of your home tells your story. Welcome to Second City Distillery. We are handcrafted one bottle at a time in the heart of Augusta, Georgia. Come visit us and discover the art of distillation like never before. Our spirits are curated, ensuring every bottle tells a story of passion and dedication. From our smooth, award-winning bourbon to our crisp and refreshing vodka, we offer a diverse range of flavors that capture the essence of our passion. Join us for a tasting or a tour and experience the spirit of Augusta with Second City Distillery. Cheers. My good friend Lisa Shedd wrote in. She owns a hair salon called Head Over Heels. She has a dated look in her salon and she wants to update. Her cabinets have yellowed. She wants to get rid of the yellow undertones. Um, she's not sure of the cabinet color. She also has a Harlequin pattern. Let me show you here what we've done, what we have. See, we have this Harlequin pattern on the walls that seems a little busy. The walls seem a little yellow, a little dated. She did this update about 15 years ago when a yellow base paint in a beige tone was very popular. And one thing that did, it absorbed the light. So it makes her space seem a little dark, a little closed in. She doesn't have a lot of natural light. I have visited her salon and taken a look here. So Lisa, what you wanna do, first of all, you wanna lighten up the walls and you wanna go with the paint color that's not gonna absorb light. You want something more white, maybe more in the gray beige tone, but not so yellow beige, more on the gray tones. If you want a little cooler look, you could go with more of a blue gray tone, but you wanna lighten those walls up with a paint color that will reflect light and help open that space up a little bit. 
As far as the cabinet color, you want to consider your countertop and pull a color from the countertop, considering your wall color. And when we get to that Harlequin wall, you obviously want a feature wall in your space. And I love to create that look to draw you into the space. I recommend either a, a bold paint color, maybe a mural or a wallpaper, maybe a geometric pattern, but wallpaper murals are very popular these days. So maybe something big and colorful that would create a little excitement in there. I see you have uh, red chairs for your salon guests. So maybe pull some of that red in a little bit as well. That might help you pull in another color for your cabinetry. So consider all of that and um, I think you'll have a nice, open, airy salon. If you have a design dilemma, send me an email with some pictures and let's talk about it. It's hard to know where to start when shopping for home or kitchen appliances, but you can count on Kelly Appliance for exceptional value and dedicated customer service. Family owned and operated since 1962, their friendly and knowledgeable staff will see you through the entire process, from selecting the right product to experience delivery and installation. It's no wonder that Kelly Appliance is consistently awarded for their service and expertise. Visit Kelly Appliance at one of their two convenient locations in Martinez and Aiken. Welcome to Second City Distillery. We are handcrafted one bottle at a time in the heart of Augusta, Georgia. Come visit us and discover the art of distillation like never before. Our spirits are curated, ensuring every bottle tells a story of passion and dedication. From our smooth, award-winning bourbon to our crisp and refreshing vodka, we offer a diverse range of flavors that capture the essence of our passion. Join us for a tasting or a tour and experience the spirit of Augusta with Second City Distillery. Cheers. Great communication, honest, fair pricing. You want that trust when you meet somebody that they're gonna take care of your best interests. It looked like a parade through here for a while. Cars stopping, people asking questions. Very courteous, very professional. It was the best experience we had out of everything we've been going through in the remodeling. And that's why we're different. Hey there, here I am. <laughs> so many times people will plop down a big floral arrangement in the middle of their dining room table and you see what happens. And unless you want to sit someone on the other side of the arrangement that you don't want to talk to, maybe Aunt Mildred that bores you and talks too much, we want to get rid of these big arrangements. And a lot of times our chandeliers are coming down over our table and there's not room for a tall arrangement anyhow. I want to show you today some quick and easy and different arrangements. Have fun with it, that's, that's key. I, I wanna show you some tablecloths. And these are kind of fun, it's an animal print, so I'm gonna create a theme. A lot of times we put this down the center of the table. But let me show you something a little different. What if we have a guest sitting here, we have a guest sitting there, and what if we run these the other way? I have a couple of here. So this designates where our guests are sitting you can see where they're sitting. It acts kind of as a placemat. Of course, we can layer it with another placemat. We can do something like this. I am always running around to, to stores around town trying to find unique glassware and serviceware. Um, let's see here. Look at these great little rectangular plates I found. How great would an appetizer or a salad look on this, especially with a setting like this. So this makes it a little more intimate, a little more fun. If you want to leave this out during uh, the week, if you're not entertaining, some people like to have their, their dining room tables decorated all the time. I have these little wreaths that I got at Christmas time, but they have little berries, so they're not necessarily seasonal. Put this in the middle. These little moss balls are very popular. We put them on bookshelves, we put them on nightstands, we put them around the house. But what if we do something like this? On a day-to-day -day basis, how nice is that? Just lovely, it's fresh. Let's say we want to create a bigger theme. And this is something I've done at my house and some of my friends thought I was crazy, but they referred to her as a doll. But she's a piece of art, but she's just a beautiful fairy. 
with all of her wings and she's holding a little nest with a bird here. But how lovely in a dining room would this look? This would look just as great on a round table. You could have those runners going crisscross over, over one another, her plopped in the middle. But again, we're not dealing with a lot of height here, so it works really well under your chandelier. So this is one setting. I have a couple of other ideas, something a little more traditional that you might like. I know our area, Augusta, is a little more traditional than maybe something I would do in my home. We have these great ginger jars. Again, I'm trying to think outside the box. If you have a rectangular table, it's nice to have something fluid going down your table. That's why a lot of people will put a runner down because it does help fill that space down the center of the table. But what if we put ginger jars on the ends like this? It's a little different, but it creates a nice mood. I could put an orchid in the middle of all of this and see how nice that is. Looks super nice. I could add some votive candles if we want to turn the lights down a little bit and add a little more bling to the table. But this would look super nice. We could dance these votives down the table. But this is a little more formal. It's a little more traditional, but this works really nice as well. These ginger jars come in a variety of colors. Uh, I've seen them in orange and green and red. Uh, pretty much any color you like. This Delft blue tends to work with a lot of people's decor. But there we go, something a little more formal. Now, I'm gonna think outside the box again and show you something a little different. You know I am Signature Mike and I like to make a signature statement. But I found these great koi. Now these are meant to hang on the wall. They have a hook here, but they also lay flat as well. And we could leave our candles on the table. And I have a set of three because odds are always better than even. But let's say you have more of an Asian theme going on. Look how nice this is going down the table. And again, it allows you to see your guests on the other side of the table. People are gonna talk about the koi. Maybe these are something you purchased on a trip so you can talk about your trip as well. But this makes for a, a really nice setting. But these are just carved. Think outside the box. Think of other sculptures and other pieces that you might have in your home already. Or again, as you travel and you see something, think about using it in a different fashion as I've done here. People do like to have candles on their table. So we can certainly, back going a little more traditional, we can certainly add some candle containers. And what's nice about something like this is we can add the candle if we'd like. I love a dimly lit dining room when I'm, when I'm serving guests. But this is awfully nice. Again, you could put a floral. We could put the orchid back in here again. If that's a little tall, maybe you could do something fresh in the center as well. But what I love about these guys is you could take the candles out if it's Christmas, if it's seasonal. You could put some Christmas ornaments in here, some Christmas balls. They could be in colors that, of your dining room, of a wallpaper or of a fabric, or it could be your festive red and green. Make it personable. Make a signature statement with your table decor. Hi, Suzanne Lilly Henny Michael here with Harbor Floors and More. For years we've been talking about our flooring and lighting gallery, but did you know we are also your one-stop shop for wallpaper? Today more than ever, wallpaper is the most popular home design element by combining both color and texture. So Hardwood Floors and More has you covered from floor to ceiling. And don't forget, we offer interest-free financing throughout our showroom and a military discount. Discover for yourself why Hardwood Floors and More has so much more in store for you. What if the perfect pair of shoes could transform more than just your outfit? At Signature Souls and Apparel, it's not just about fashion. It's about finding the pieces that make you feel confident, unique, and ready to take on the world. From stunning shoes to statement outfits and accessories, every item is carefully chosen to help you express your personality. Let our friendly team help you discover your next favorite look. Signature Souls and Apparel, where every step you take feels beautifully you.
get ready for Augusta Symphony's 2024-2025 season, all happening at the fabulous Miller Theater. The season kicks off on September 27th. We've got an incredible lineup of symphony concerts. Sounds of the Sea with a special guest pianist. Sounds of the Sky featuring Tchaikovsky's Suite from Swan Lake. Sounds from the Heart with guest artist and concert mistress Anastasia Petronini. She and her husband Dennis, who play timpani, are both in the symphony. Sounds of the Classics with works by Mendelssohn and Haydn featuring a guest cellist. Sounds from the East, including a performance of Mozart with a guest pianist. Celebrating Augusta with a unique guest artist who is also a photo choreographer. I'm really intrigued by that one. And let's not forget the Pops concerts. Signature Interiors happens to be the presenting sponsor. These titles need no explanation. Bruce in the USA, Mariachi Fiesta, Sounds of the Season with Chloe Agnew, The Music of Tina Turner, and the Star Wars film with orchestra. Dirk Meyer was hand-selected by Disney to be able to play this concert. The entire symphony staff are incredible. You don't want to miss any of these exciting concerts. the perfect pair of shoes could transform more than just your outfit. At Signature Souls and Apparel, it's not just about fashion. It's about finding the pieces that make you feel confident, unique, and ready to take on the world. From stunning shoes to statement outfits and accessories, every item is carefully chosen to help you express your personality. Let our friendly team help you discover your next favorite look. Signature Souls and Apparel, where every step you take feels beautifully you. Hey Augusta, we are so excited to share with you the brand new show, the Signature Mike Show, every Saturday night at 7.30, right here on Channel 12. I got that way. 